Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going through the Office 365 deployment toolkits. So it's, it's ODT uh, toolkits using the, um, the web-based um, configuration. So what I need to do is go into the Microsoft config.office.com Let's get started. So, so architecture. If you want to use 32-bit, um, you can just choose 32-bit here, and if it's 64, you you can choose 64-bit. So in this case, I'm going to use 32-bit, uh, and the Office Suite. There's a lot of um, Office Suite you can choose. There's Office 365 Pro Plus, 365 Business, Professional vol uh, 2019 Volume License, and the 2019 Standard License. So let's go to Office 365 Pro Plus. Visio. If I want to add Visio with it, I can just choose Visio Pro Plus here. Or you can choose volume license 2016, um, standard version volume license 2016, and the 2019 volume license. In this case, I'm not going to install Visio. I'm going to skip that. The same thing with project. There's a project online desktop client or volume license 2016 and 2019 I'm going to skip that as well additional products language pack if you want to add language additional language pack you can add that here or you can add office 365 access runtime uh, you can add that here as well so additional products, I'm going to click none. I don't need access runtime because I'm going to enable access. OneDrive, I'm going to add, add that to the, um, the installation. And also OneNote 2016. Well, you know what? I'm just going to not include OneNote 2016. Update channel. Um, choose your update channel. I'm going to choose monthly channel. Version of you want to deploy. There's a, you can go back five versions. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to choose the latest language you're going to choose the primary language which is English additional language I'm just going to I can choose match operating system what match operating system is mean it's going to install the language based on the operating system just say if you have Chinese um, running as your Windows deployment, uh, as your Windows, it's going to install a Chinese version of Office 365. I'm going to choose that. Also, I'm going to just want to play with it, so I'm going to choose Cambodia. Click next. All right. Save logs where you want to. Oh, sorry, I passed this one here. So, where do you want to deploy Office from? Is it Office Content Delivery? That's from the Microsoft Network, or you want it from your local area source, or even Configuration Manager? Um, in this case, I'm just going to use Microsoft uh, CDN. Show installation to users. 
on off just for testing I'm gonna turn it on pin icons to taskbar so if I want to add icons to the taskbar here I can lay flat on logging I'm just going to put it in Windows folder under old 365 logs Click next So <clears throat> if I want to remove all version of MSI, I can just leave this one on. Oops, sorry, I skipped the the updates. Oh no, never mind. So for the updates I have it um installed from Microsoft, that's fine. But if you want to do your updates or control your update through configuration manager you want to choose this one here and the configuration manager upgrade options uninstall any MSI versions I want this one on and if I want to keep visual or projects I can um, turn this ones off and remove uh, SharePoint and designer for now I'm just going to remove all versions that's include v0 and projects for remove msi version office install the same language let's leave, the, leave this off next automatically accept e, eau if you're going to do a silent install i recommend this turn this on if it's a shared computer, if you plan to install on the shared devices like um, a virtual machines, you can uh, turn this one on. Next, description. I don't have any, I'm not going to put anything here. Next, preference. Show on the office. Let's see here. You can um, enable or enable office hide. You can configure or not configure it. So there's a few options here you can uh, configure. SharePoint products. change destinations so a few options you can enable I'm not going to go through all of it let's see so there's a bunch of options that allow you to um, customize so for now I'm just going to click finish And then I'm going to export. The file name, I'm going to call this 0365 config. Here's the config file. Let's open it up. I'm going to open it with notepad so once you export it you can uh, go in and make changes to it as well so as you can see here I excluded one note now it shows as excluded choose the language share computer is no pen icon equals true SCL cache override zero it's off remove MSI display the language the log files I'm gonna close it out so 
that is the way to that is how you configure your office 365 custom xml file and if you don't if you want to download the odt tool you have to go into just type in office 365 odt and you just download the um the setup.exe from there that's it thank you for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and have a good day